Hey guys, I'm Asif Farin and watching Switch our video. Today we will make this character glow effect in Unreal Engine Niagara. From starting everything, material and each emitter, camera setting, sequencer. So everything you will learn in this tutorial from the scratch. So let's start this tutorial. So let's just start this. So first, uh, what I'll use, uh, I'll use uh, a uh, sequencer. Let's use sequencer. And I will use a character, so let me just find. Maybe I'll just use this, or yeah, we can use this actually. This one, and this is a character. Let's put a camera also if you want. Like this. Okay and i'll just because i'm making this green aura so i will make the feel of everything green i'll make this black and this one green but not that much make it dark but green greenish okay so that will be or maybe you can just make, uh, let me also do one thing. Lock the camera and then set the focal length. So my character is sharp enough. And I think I will go for this one to make it gray like this. And I'll increase this. And start distance, something like this. So we have now focus. And if you want to see if your character is properly focused, you can turn on this and then you can play with this. So it should be where your focus want. You can also link your character if you want. So now it's in focus. First thing what I'll do, I will add a uh, uh, overlay material on this character. So if you select this and search here, overlay. Because I don't want to change this material. So I will apply an overlay material and I have a separate tutorial on that. If you don't know what is overlay materials, so you can just search overlay in my videos. So I'll just go here and make M character or it will be just a fernail actually. Fernail with, uh, let me just connect this here, make this unlit and additive and i'll use two here and a power and make a parameter for the power so i will have control how much i want the thickness of all the things okay and actually this will go to opacity and in the emissive i'll just directly use the color color and by default i'll make it green and connect it here Okay, so I'll just save this and power value is by default zero, but I should have make it one. So I'll make it instance, let me save all. And then I'll drag this instance to the overlay material and it will appear here. Then I'll open this instance material and I'll increase the fitness, this power. So I want like around this, let's not select the character around this and then we can make it a little more darker or anything you want like this much this looks nice cool so first step is done now we want to add particles and lots of things so what i'll do first i want to add glow on it so let's make a niagara i'll take the empty and it's glow or call uh, or anything you want to uh, misspelling i misspelled that it's okay so first i meter inside i want is i just add a fountain okay and it has already these particles shooting i want this particle to shoot from the character so i'll just select this character control b this is here so it is selected here now instead of the shape location i'll find static mesh location and i'll choose that character here okay and move it above 
I don't need velocity. And I don't need gravity either. And in the shape location, if I go down, I won't. Yeah, I won't actually. Yeah, everything's perfect. But it seems not to be working. Now let's see if I drag this into the sequencer and then I link it, attach it to the menu. And if I play, nothing is happening. All the particles there. Something is broken here, so I'll just let me try it with GPU. It should not happen, but if it, yeah. So it's working with GPU, but I think it should work with CPU also. I, I worked, maybe I'm working on a very long time in 5.6 using this, so maybe some something changed or maybe I'm missing something. But yeah, with GPU it's working and you can see that. So I want to make it glowy. So the life I will increase maybe four and three. And these should scale up. So I'll just take the size and this is like, I want this much, not from zero, maybe 0.5 like this. And they should be fade in, fade out. And these all should green, should be green. Okay. And now here, everything is in, in front of the character also. If you want to make that go back, you can just add camera offset here and just make the negative maybe 50 everything will go back and if you don't want that much you can just drag it to here and check how much you want yeah so maybe you can randomize from minus 8 to 20 so some particle will be there some will not okay and also there's this is cutting through that. So there's no depth fade in the material. So you can make the material with depth fade. So I will just make a material and radial. I will not do anything fancy. Just take a radial and just take the depth fade. Connect this and take the particle color. Connect this here and multiply this with this. And that's it. Make this unlit and edit it. Simple material. So it has now a depth fade. So every particle that will interact with the character, it will fade. So it will not cut like this is cutting through it. So if I select this and change the material here. Now see the difference, but we will let's turn off the camera offset. See? We don't need camera offset now because these are here, but these are fading. Okay. I will add a little bit velocity to go up. Maybe just five, I think. Yeah. And this should be not that much. Maybe we can decrease it. Maybe 30 and, and they should be very faded. Maybe 0.3. Like this. You can change the size if you want, maybe I'll just turn off the mass, maybe 20 and 15 and 0.2. Okay, then we need something more here. I think size is too much, 12 and 10 is okay. Now we want something more here. And before that, I want something uh, like copy this paste. So it has this issue, this let it be so in this one what i'll do i'll just make the size maybe two and one and make it very bright maybe i'll make this one and let's check it on one and let's add a little bit curl noise maybe 20 and i will animate this also maybe 50 and velocity maybe 20 so these are going up, yeah. Cut noise is too much, maybe just 20. And size of the particle is 1 and 0.1. 
yeah so we have this pool and the size should also like go down at the end cool now we want to add something more uh, that looks cool so i'll just make a material very quickly a kind of uh, something that appears here um, a magical thing of an like energy or something so i'll just make material let's call it energy uh, my keyboard is not working properly so this will be again unlit already but let's make it translate for now and what i'll do press t for stamp text chamber t and left mouse button then i'll search aura that is my noise texture this is stylized what i'll do vector to radial okay and i'll just connect this and if i connect this here you can see how it looks then i will pan this To. and what I'll do I'll make parameters for the tiling so dynamic parameter for the tile I will tweak a little bit not much okay after that I need a power here to control to dissolve this actually dissolve And this all should be a, like a ring. So I'll take a radial and take a sign. And if I preview, this will be a ring. But if you make this two, it will be faded from both sides. Now you can actually multiply this and this, then use power. So basically, when you multiply, it will cut through that. And with the power, you can dissolve it. And I'll just connect this, but with the particle color. So it will go directly here. And here I will just use it in the opacity. And let's also use that fade in case it will interact with the character, it should fade. Okay, so let's hit apply. Browse this. I'll go my uh, effects, copy this first diameter, which is big glow, this one, and just change the material. Now I need the cam uh, dynamic parameter. Tile, let's say one and this also one like this. I will randomize the tiling a little bit, maybe 0.7, 1.2. Okay, so you will have this kind of thing, but I will reduce the spawn rate to maybe 10. Looks good. And I will reduce that glow even more, maybe 0 0.05. So we can focus on this. And this already look cool. I think we can increase a little bit glow. So this look good. Simple character glow kind of thing cool so you can do a lot of thing with this i'm just making it very basic so if you have any questions or anything you can comment below the video i can also add just to make it more focused i can add a post process and then search here this unbound then first thing I will do is because I want more focus on character I'll go to image effect vignette then you can increase the glow kind of thing maybe 50 but this will also increase the glow of this blue thing so but you can play with this if you want let's reset it for now you can also go to chromatic Make some adjustment like this. Looks cool. Right? So that's it. I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. Bye-bye.